All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today, what we're going to be doing is doing some battles in the Ultra League. Um, you will also notice on the right hand side, there is some stuff from the Bag on Community Day. Um, basically, this is going to be like I did a Cell Sealer raid that I got invited to, and I also did a few other bits as well. But what we're going to be doing is oh, never mind, we got kicked straight out of the battle. Let's go and join into another one. So I'm actually trying something different today, um, you'll probably see from the overlay itself. Um, I have started recording from a HDMI cable to my Elgato. So it is all at once being done, which is ace, as it wasn't being done that way before. So I'm really happy that I'm doing that, just because it makes it a lot easier when it comes to editing. And also the overlay will be like the same moving forward which will be ace um, I am going to block this just like he blocked our um, hydro cannon now the reason I'm going in with a different set of Pokemon is I don't always want it to be the same um, Pokemon that I go in with because it does make things a bit boring that way so let's just keep the teams being changed and hopefully we can get some wins i am trying to get to level 20 this season as i've never actually got there before um oh we thought i was going to use shadow okay so we are going to block this and then we're going to do our dragon claw he has to let his salamans die or he, um, okay, oh, he blocks it. I was going to say, because it, it's a very difficult one to choose from this point. Um, even with Kyogre as his last Mon, obviously, he'll probably block this, which is perfectly fine. Um, it does mean that we can go into our... Oh, wow, he didn't. I definitely thought that was a blocking moment, to be honest. This will probably be one. I don't think he wants to lose his Kyogre. Um, but if he if we do and he does block it, which he did, we do actually have our hydro cannon here, which will kill. I don't think he predicted the swap, um, because not really many people do. They think oh we'll get him down to like low HP and then we'll swap out. But for me, we're not going to do that. We're just going to try and take as much damage down as we can before. He starts getting off his Psycho Cuts, which I'm guessing is the moves he's got. Now, it's nice that we did actually have... Um, oh, we just missed the Hydro Cannon. So, we are dead here. That is a definite. <laughs> um, oh. Not what I expected, though. I thought he was going to show um, Psycho Cut there, or Shadow Ball. So, that's a new one. Um, maybe it wasn't a like a good PvP -er, and he's just trying to learn just like me. So that was nice to actually have is a different team that have actually won the first fight, so I'll take it. Um I might start adding a counter as well to the video to say like how many we've won, who we beat basically and things like that. So maybe we can look at that. I'm also planning to do some streams in the future which I'm actually really looking forward to because I've never done streaming really before. So it will be interesting to see how that goes. Okay, so... I feel like he's going to use Steel Wing. Oh, he used Hydro Cannon. Okay. Confused at why he took so long to do that. Maybe it was to get an extra little bit of charge. I don't know. But he blocked his, which is really weird. Because he's probably going to think I'm going to use Earthquake here. Yeah. So we did actually block that. Now, I am going to use a shield here. It means we both have zero shields and it just comes down to what Pokemon we've got next. So I'm going to use Earthquake, which should take his Empoleon down. Mm. Now, the only issue we've got is I don't actually have any... Yeah, so we are just going to let 
our Swampert die there. And then I'm going to go to our Skeldurge, which... I want at least one move on it. Ooh. If this has Surf or Hydro Pump, we'd die here. Which is a shame. No, it does have Surf. Okay, so let's use Disarming Voice. And we do have a second one, so we might be able to get that off as well. Never mind, we'll use Shadow Ball instead, because that did absolutely nothing to Lapras. That's good. Um, I'm actually quite glad that we didn't kill, because it means that Giratina can come in and get the final couple of moves off and it all comes down to the final Pokemon, Venusaur. Okay, so let's shoot. Oh. I don't know how much, if he has poison I think we die here. He doesn't, he has Frenzy Plant which is not effective. Okay, we might win this. It all depends on how much damage this does. Obviously Dragon isn't super effective or resisted. It is literally just going to be a case of who can get their attacks off first. And I think Frenzy Plant is a faster move, so I think Venusaur might have this. It's also doing more damage, which isn't great. So he calculated that. If he's got Sludge Bomb, that could be us dead. He, d It seems to appear he doesn't have Sludge Bomb, which is fine. Well, I think this should be us winning this fight. So this is actually a very good team. Or we're just versing some really bad people. I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think of the new overlay. It is going to keep changing. It is going to keep getting better. But for now, I'm just trying to use the new recording system and things like that to make it look better for you guys. As I was doing a screen capture and then I was adding that to it and then it was it was just really awkward to get it all edited properly. Now it should be the same every single time. Um, unless the cable broke and then we'll have to go through another way as well. However, I have just seen a massive like lag spike there. I don't know if you guys did as well. Um, I am going to have to swap, otherwise we were just going to die there. A Milotic. I mean... It's not the worst thing to be coming up against. Obviously, it is super effective against Skeldurge, and we can't swap out. So, yeah, I didn't think he'd block there. Because, obviously, why would you? I'm going to block. But why would you block a fire-type move? I say he should have a second one. Um, right, let's just take this down. Obviously, Decidueye now get to free swapping because uh, right. I'm actually not going to block this. We could have used Earthquake, which wouldn't be... Uh, actually, it might be super effective. I should still have a shield. Yep. That is definitely being used. Uh, swap out here. We kind of needed to swap there. Just because if we were to carry on with Swampert, he already has a special move ready to go. This shouldn't do too much. Yeah. Now, the reason I kept going there, so we have close to a second move. Um, he hasn't got any shields left either. So Discharge shouldn't do too much. I can potentially get to two Dragon Claws before we even get into the next Pokemon, which would be amazing for us. We did not, which was a shame. Obviously, Decidueye does have Spirit Shackle, which will kill us in one go. 
So we do need to get these off fast. So I'd rather just keep basically knocking this Pokemon down and chipping the damage off because it will. Um, this should be KO. Because it should do that little damage to it. Yeah. And then we've just got Milotic left. So we do have another Hydro Cannon ready to go. And that should be the end of this fight. That's actually 3 out of 3. That's really good for a new team. Um, obviously, we don't have Shadow Claw on Giratina, which is a really big miss. Um, but when I get enough XL, uh, not XL Candy, Rare Candy, I will be adding it. And our encounter for this level is actually Phantom, so let's catch that. And I'll probably end the video there, to be honest, just because there's not that much left to do. I don't want to do five battles because I am just going to do some more for another day too. Actually, no, we've got one more battle to finish the thing off. We may as well do that. Same team. Let's see if we can get a win. So let's carry this on. Um, Excadrill. A really good start for us, obviously, seeing that a Pokemon that it, we are super effective against is going... Ooh. I'm going to have to block it. Have to. To be honest, I thought I would have got my move off first, but I didn't. And that's going to be a pain. So, Hydro Cannon, he'll block that, obviously. Hydro Cannon again. Oh, we did get ours off first. So maybe I did one extra attack by accident, which caused us not to go first, basically. I'm going to block this again, meaning we are in the same situation as last battle, which is we don't have any moves left to basically take each other down. Now, swapping out to Machamp there wasn't the best of moves. Because Machamp is just going to take a massive hit to the face, basically. We'll swap out to Giratina. Which, I don't think he should have a move for. He should just have a fighting type move. Yeah, which will do nothing. And he's just going to have to watch his Machamp go down, basically. Because we do have a Dragon Claw. And that takes Machamp down. Moving on, play back to Excadrill. So we do still have, yeah, there you go, back to extra drill. I don't even think drill run will do any damage. It might have Dragon Claw or Shadow Claw, I don't know. But even that is doing absolutely nothing. Which is, I'm surprised I'm not using Giratina too much. I use Cresselia in the Great League, which is OP. Um, but I'm glad I'm using some, like I said, using some different Pokemon in this one. We just got to hope that the final Pokemon is either weak to fire or water. Because we aren't going to have Giratina for that fight. Right, okay. That's not good. Um, I think we swapped a little too soon there. Or not, actually. Oh, yeah, because we're, yeah, he forfeited because we're a fairy type. I completely forgot about that. That's ace. Are we a fairy type or we just got fairy moves? I can't remember. Because it's a new gen, I'm still a bit new to it. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, Pokemon. Then we're going to go Scarlet and Violet. And then Skeldurge. So we are fighting a ghost, so I wonder why that didn't do as much damage. Uh, it's just a one times, and Giratina Alter Form doesn't have that high of an attack. So yeah, maybe that's the reason we uh, got away with that one. Um, we're still one full rotation away from being level 18. But that is going to be in the next couple of videos anyway. So thank you all for watching. Please leave a like. Comment down below like um, how we're doing on PvP if we're getting better. 
um, also what you would take into this league yourself and if you did get anything good in uh, Bag on Community Day please let me know and subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll speak to you all in the next one.